After watching the Yellow Submarine music video, I'm not sure how I feel about this reference in my Pac-Man World 2. I don't think I'm happy. <laughs> or maybe I'm just high. Pac-Man! Uh, oh wait, sorry. This guy had a voice, didn't he? Pac-Man, how good of you to make it! And just in time, I might say! Spooky has unleashed a nasty naval fleet to stop your advance towards Ghost Island. I fear you'll need much more than flippers to deal with them. Luckily, I've been working on outfitting my research sub to deal with this problem. Behold, my latest creation, the pack sub. A word of caution, I haven't had time to work out all the bugs in the system yet, so you can only fire six torpedoes at a time. I have not yet worked on my trans... Transportational technology to allow an infinite supply of missiles. This is clearly behind its time. Now get back out there and drive them back to Ghost Island. And then deal with these sharks. They're I can't leave. Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Oh yeah. See, the first two episodes, the first two levels of this world, their purpose was to introduce us to what I, I didn't really know at the time uh, the name of this genre, but rail shooters. That, that's the name I was thinking of. And now that we're here, now that we're to this preparation, we have full control of our movement. It's no longer sluggish, and it, it, it's kind of nice. I've had, I've had time. Uh, our missiles recharge. I've had time to reflect. We get points for shooting these. On, I can't just shoot them. S yeah, I can't just do that. I've had time to reflect on this mechanic, and I think that it's fine. I gave it a little bit of flack last episode, and in the comments, I, I expounded saying I wasn't very familiar. Oh, the ghosts! I wasn't very familiar with this genre, and so I wasn't sure how I felt about it because it was fairly mold-breaking for a water level. You don't see this that often. And now that I've had time to, to ruminate on it, I think this is a very good thing because we don't have to concentrate, we only have to concentrate on dodging and weaving. It's, I think it's a great way to do a water level. It removes the complaint of us having all this restricted movement. What is this? What are you? Oh yeah, this! We have a smart bomb. By pressing X, I can clear the entire screen. Now, I can use this, if my dodging skills are good, I can use this strategically. And, because they want me to use it here, but I don't have to use it here. I also should probably be using missiles a bit more often, because I have six, they recharge quickly, I'm getting points, and I'm probably going to miss out on tokens if I don't get them. I also like how it shows us a lock, the lock-on uh, indicator, because it, this perspective makes it very difficult. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use this here. Die! Oh, wow. It's very difficult to tell what... I'm actually looking at what's actually straight ahead of me because the camera is slightly up uh, up and behind us. Uh, I believe I can destroy these pipes. No, I can't, but I can make them leak. Wait, are those, is that oil? I never thought about this, but I think that's oil. I think we're attacking an oil pipeline. The, <laughs> it's like Donkey Kong Country where there's a secret, like, communist undertone of the game. like. Cold War undertone. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, nice. I was just gonna ask, we can't get pack dots, so how are we supposed to restore our, our health? Wow, I'm, I am doing some stuff. These do recharge very quickly. It's not, it looks almost like it would be, um, like Ocarina of Time's carrot recharge. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use this here. But it's a, it's a bit more forgiving, quick, intuitive than that. Oh boy, I can really get chained here if I am not careful. Also, firing missiles, it looks like I can fire missiles while... Oh boy. I can fire missiles while spinning around, but they go every which way. I probably should avoid those clusters because it takes three to, to destroy that. Yeah, this, this reticle really improves everything. It, sh it helps me to know where I'm supposed to be going. I can interact with that seaweed a little bit. And so I, I know how to blow holes in where I'm going. Oh, boy. Good thing is I still get some control. I could really use a smart bomb right now. There are so many sharks. I'm also out of missiles. Let's just dodge and weave. 
Got a checkpoint. One more hit and I'm dead. I do not want to die. Did I get him? No, I didn't. The funny thing is, I think I died to one of the, the ghosts that was spawning on screen. I don't think I was actually hit by a missile because I was moving quite a bit there. Wow, there's so many of them. I think I just need to dodge. I think I just I think I need to to make circles and see if I can just stay on the evasive plan. Did not do it there. Whoa! Go down, go down. I can't see. Move. Yes, 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 yes. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Oh, I don't know what that was. What was that? Oh, I missed a, a power up. I think that one would allow me to shoot like a rapid fire missiles. Oh, that's yeah. I believe that allows me to rapid fire missiles. If we go this entire episode without seeing it, I'll, I will go back and show it off because I do remember that upgrade being very cool. Careful. I'm not sure if the fact that my my pack sub alternates fire is important. If they share the same hitbox or if I need to be uh, watching that. I don't think I do. I think the hitbox is big enough. Technically, with those missiles, does that mean that it was the old Pac-Man dude who was attacking us, or was that still the enemies? Carefully. I don't need to be greedy for points. This is probably one of the best places to get points in the game, actually. I mean, I don't need to be destroying these, but it is pretty fun. I'm not sure what the end game is for this. This is such a cool mechanic, though. You don't get to see this in, in any water level. And, and it makes sense. It feels right. It's great. And this is one of the things that was on the back of the, the game's box that says uh, you can... It, it talks about the skates, the, like the ice skates, and it talks about uh, the pack sub as being like key features that are reasons to buy the game. And I see it. It's, it's fun. Careful, careful. More of these guys. I need to be better about this. I think I can shoot them before they turn around, so I'm just going to keep kind of a steady stream of missiles. Oh, wow. They're, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. And it's kind of hard to see what's going on once the screen shakes. It's easy to get wombo comboed. Fire? I got three there, but I need to be careful. I need to be very careful. I do not want to get hit by these guys. I killed them all at... Oh, I should have gone right. Just bob and weave. It's more important to dodge them than it is to hit them because they just keep coming. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Dodging. What can we do? We dodge. Dodge. Oh, that was kind of a frame trap there. Jerk. 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 I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Oh, smart bomb. Yes, give me that smart bomb. I'm not going to use the smart bomb right now. I do not need the smart bomb right now. I Oh, I missed up health. Okay, I need to be destroying these. I'm hoping I can get health from one of them. I'm not sure if it's set or if it's a random chance that it will drop health. Hopefully it's, it's a random chance because then the odds are a bit more in my favor. Come on, please. Oh, there it was and I dodged it. No. Give me health. Oh, oh health. Yes. Okay. Two hits. That's that's what I want. That's that prevents me from getting wombo comboed. They really want me to use that smart bomb, but I no no. I'm at full health. I have no reason to use the smart bomb until the final wave of enemies starts showing up, and I'll wait for a few of them to get on screen at once. I'm handling them pretty well. I like the little short designs. It's cute. I I as a kid after I saw this level, I always wanted my own pack sub. Like I would. I was young when I played this game, so I would pretend like I had one, and it, like, imagine all the cool stuff you could do. It's just so cool. It, it, the freedom of movement you get, and this seems plausible. This this kind of submarine seems very plausible to have. Okay, I need to... I made it through that okay, but I need to remember I have a smart bomb. That isn't... Oh, I lost it! Oh, you lose it when you're hit. Oh, well, I wasted it then. Well, I'm on my own then. Actually, did it provide me a free hit? I think it did. I'm pretty sure it just provided me a free hit. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Is that the end of the level? That's the end of the level! Pac-Man World 2 seems to wear its beta elements on its sleeve. From the manual, to the title screen, to the reward for 100%, it isn't difficult to grasp what could have been for this classic title. Normally, this topic would be relegated to a bonus episode, 
but this series won't have one. I'm not going for 100%, so it seems pointless to hold off on bridging one of our most interesting topics yet. The cutting room floor is known for being a treasure trove of unused content, but I was surprised by how empty it was when it came to Pac-Man World 2. There are some early drafts of the official art, but otherwise there's no real gem to dig up here about the game's beta. Instead, the page discusses the differences between the original release and the player's choice, platinum release, and PC revisions. Unfortunately, I can find very little footage of these differences in action, so we have to take the cutting room floor at its word. The ghosts once killed in a single hit, true to the arcade classic. Blinky's frog shirked his position as baby's first boss. His tongue swings far faster in the earlier phases. Both the glow and dialogue revealing its weakness are absent. Bidoing Woods lacks the net at the beginning, and the directional Bidoings send the player in different directions. While the former difference is an increase in difficulty, there is no apparent reason for the difference in direction. Although, I have a theory. Most games despawn actors and textures as soon as they're off-screen. The change in Bidoing directions might have been an attempt to lighten the load on the GPU, which may have caused frame skips in the first version of the game. Finally, in the Japanese version, difficulty is scaled in the opposite direction. Every pit in the first world is filled up with sand just like in Bare Basics, making death by bottomless pit an impossibility in the first world. Unfortunately, those are most of the documented differences I could find. Very little footage of the original version exists, and without purchasing it myself, documenting the rest of the differences is next to impossible. While the cutting room floor had little to offer, I eventually stumbled across a 2015 forum post on a site called VGFAX. User SuperMario123311 posted four screenshots of the game in various stages of its development. It's worth noting that while these possess IGN's watermark, I was unable to track them down on their site, most likely due to their age. This first screenshot is nothing special. The power pellet has slightly different shading, and most of these models and textures went unused. The remaining screenshots each show unused actors. Not only are these fish different from the final game, but so too are the holes in the ice. My assumption is that the fish received a paint job because they look like something you'd find in Nicaragua, not Alaska. Super Mario Numbers claims that the texture file for the enemy Swamp Fly is still present in the game's files. Looking at this enemy, I have no idea what its intended attack pattern would have been, and it also seems like an enemy the devs would have a hard time making work in any other area. It's worth noting that the lily pads in the background are replaced by rocks in the final version. While the cutting room floor does not corroborate the existence of this enemy, Super Mario Numbers also names Side Sneaker as one of the unused enemies, and the cutting room floor does not. This enemy does appear on the title screen, making it clear that the cutting room floor missed some content in their sweep of the game. This is the final screenshot they posted, and it's clear that I saved the best for last. This level has shading and shadows, meaning it was far along in its development. I can't be the only one getting a Banjo-Kazooie vibe from the text box and the character it belongs to, right? I have a hard time deciding what exactly this creature is supposed to be, so I'll leave it to your imagination. Every non-boss level has 8 arcade tokens hidden within it. Another token can be obtained as the reward for 100%ing the level, and another for completing the time trial mode that unlocks after completing the level for the first time. Collecting all 150 tokens grants access to this building in Pack Village that was previously closed for repairs. Entering the building begins a slideshow of concept art of the game, and the best glimpse yet at its development. A lot of these are depictions of enemies that never made the cut. This Hockey Wolf is a great example of this. I'd imagine that Hockey Wolf would have been found in the ice world, and would try to score a goal by knocking Pac-Man into the death water. Before Pac-Bears, Yetis were the lumbering giants of Ice River Run. Speaking of giants, this snake dwarfs even the Yeti. There is no way that this was a common enemy. It was either a boss or a friendly NPC. Notice the inner tube that Pac-Man's floating in? It seems as though it was going to be a recurring mechanic that was intended for both the water and the snow world. Besides the multitude of enemy concepts, the overworld map and Pack Village have several pictures devoted to them as well. There are some neat level concepts, and this. A fully modeled Sir Packalot suggests that the beginning cutscene wasn't always intended to follow a storybook format. If you want to take a look at the entire gallery, the card on screen will take you to my source for these images. Now, as we reach the end of this topic of the day, there's one final picture that I would like to show. 
While it's not the end of the series, I would like to extend my appreciation to the people in this photo. If only this team had received the recognition they deserved, and the green light to continue this series. In my eyes, this team could stand shoulder to shoulder with the rare team who developed Donkey Kong Country. I have such fond childhood memories of this game that I will never forget, and for that, I thank you. Pac-Man! All in one piece, I take it! Don't ask how I got here! Don't ask why you're back to my lab! Just accept it! Oh look, it's a- uh, it's Talkman! I now get that reference, having research in the background! It's Talkman, that's cool. Spooky's flagship submarine, Mega Whale, has been spotted nearby! It's the only thing keeping you from Ghost Island! Now go and sink Mega Whale and hurry on to the Ghost Island! All of Pac-Land is counting on you! Also, pick up a sub on the way! Because... All this talk of submarines has me wanting some Quiznos. Quiznos is much better than Subway. And these people disagree. Kill them for me, please. Smart bomb, yes, yeah, smart bomb. Boss time. Do you remember when I said that all of the copy-pasted bosses were behind us? Well, that's because they are. No more copy-pasted bosses for the rest of the game. And in fact, it's a half and half ratio of the uh, the Blade-O-Matic bosses? Whoa, what are you doing, Shark? What are you doing, Shark? What is happening to you? What did you do? You're, you're exploding. <laughs> okay, well, Mega Whale. By firing our torpedoes at the propellers, we can slowly bring this thing down. So just firing our entire arsenal at this... At this Mega Whales, how, how we bring it down. It's such a cool boss fight! I love it! It's so great! I love it! This this game has a little bit of everything for everyone. This gives me it gives you some of your like Star Fox feels and I guess Kid Icarus Uprising too. That that plat or that rail shooter uh, kind of thing. Unfortunately it's not a, a side scrolling rail shooter, so you don't get your Kirby fix, but I mean some some of the Kirby games have 3D or I guess, I, yeah, 3D rail shooters as as their shtick. Fire at this propeller. I'm not sure how many hits they take, I, but it also looks like the more they're damaged, the more you can see that they're loose. Like, that one on the right looks a lot more loose than the one on the upper left. Avoid the mines. Come on. Yes. That's another one down. Mega Whale down to half HP. Half HP! And now... We're almost ready to sink this thing and move on to, unfortunately, the final world of the game. No time to rum ruminate on that, though. We have some generic ghosts with some shark powers. <laughs> I love how they try to bite you, but they also fire a torpedo. It it's kind of overkill. Also, props to the game for realistically... Whoa. Realistically... Oh, goodness. Shooting kamikaze. They're, uh... The missiles while you're in like the the hit stun animation. It's not just a an animation with nothing changed. If I press the A button, it fires the missiles every which way, which is kind of cool. I think I can still shoot that. I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. That's kind of a must be just a fluff thing. Ow! I f this attack. What is that yellow thing? I'm not seeing. What is the yellow flash? I, I want to know what that is before before I I take out another propeller. What does that do? Is it a cannon? I think it's a cannon. Okay. I wanted to make sure I knew, and now I'm probably going to die, before I, I finish this phase, because then whatever it did, it would be a lot more intense, and I wouldn't have time to adapt. Oh, that dropped a life. Not, not, not a thing. Okay, come on. You can drop sharks. Drop a sharks! Barely grazed my thing. Come on. Take out one of them. Take out one of them. Take out one of them. <sighs> come on. Move up. Both of them are about to go. It'd be kind of cool. Oh, I made a mistake. Fire where he's going to be, not where he is. Good. Is that a propeller? That's a propeller. I think the propellers can also hit me. So I need to I need to avoid avoid those and, and get moving and not stick around when I, I fire at a torpedo. Or at, at a, a propeller. Same with these guys. I, my missiles don't seem to connect with theirs. 
Ow, that's not good. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Avoid, avoid, avoid. There's a generic dude. Ah, I should have moved right, left. Avoid, 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 avoid. Avoid, 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 avoid. Yes. Oh, wait, what hit me? Give me health. I just figured out why I have a, a cannon, a, a limit of my of my missiles. I don't actually get back the charges oh, until after that torpe torpedo is off screen. So it's it's a matter of, of sprite limitations, I guess, and not not an actual gameplay limitation. Sort of like how Pikmin was was founded on that. That was that was the pr the principal mechanic. That's why you have a Pikmin limit is because they can only have so many on screen. Last hit. Come on. This is in the clutch. See if I can avoid. At this point, I'm just focused on survival and less on actually hitting him. Please give me health. Ugh, that was close. That was really close. I got silent there. Yes, yes. Did I do it? I did it. That was such a blind shot. I wasn't even looking at him. I was looking at the sharks. The golden banana. <sighs> that was probably the most intense fight thus far. And that's the end of, what is that? World one, two, three, four, five. It's been, it's been such a great, it's been such a great let's play. I've really enjoyed this, even though it's been hard sometimes, even though we've had some challenges with some of the levels, and I've died a lot, it has been a blast. And next time, in Pac-Man World 2, we are moving on to the final world, Haunted Boardwalk. And, if I can grab my keyboard here one moment. Move the camera out. You remember how the world is a giant Pac-Man? Well, how fitting is it? And I can't really... This is kind of awkward. Uh, can I move over a little bit? Just a tiny bit? I just want it to render one once more. Okay, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Just like the world is a giant Pac-Man... The, the place where the ghosts are hiding, their fortress, is a pack dot that the Pac-Man is eating. It's also in the shape of a ghost. I never no I never noticed that before. I've never had this capability because you can't really tell that from this view. But it's... That's pretty sweet. It, it The island is a ghost. And it... So I guess it's not a pack dot. It's a ghost. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join me next time when we enter the final world. That means that there are probably two episodes left. Two episodes left. We're going to end this Let's Play on episode 13. I'll see you guys then.